Couple new movies and a new series with Tiffany Haddish, all hitting streaming services this weekend. I guess who's with us for Real Talk today? It's movie reviewer Greg Russell. Yay! Hey, happy to be here as always, Jason. Uh, the football fever happening right now with the Super Bowl coming up in just a couple of weeks, and you can only see it here on Local 4. We have a new movie out, a football film on Netflix, and it is called Home Team, and this is with Kevin James? Yeah, he plays Sean Payton, who just uh, retired from the New Orleans Saints, and this is all about the time when, after they won the Super Bowl, Sean got put on suspension, you know, for, I think, Target Gate, you know, where he was paying bounties, you know, for people to supposedly hit other players. So he goes back to Texas, where his ex-wife is and his son, and winds up becoming an assistant coach of his son's peewee football team. So I got to talk to Kevin and also Michigan's own Taylor Lautner about the film and just the fact that this could have been a serious story, but they had a good time with it. Here we go. I think it was just great to do this movie with humor. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the movie's not about the suspension. That's just the the catalyst that, you know, creates this, you know, uh, opportunity that Sean takes to, 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 you know, that's what great coaches do. They make greatness out of things. They turn, you know, situations into great uh, uh, victories. And that's literally what he did here. He, he turned uh, uh, a downtime into uh, a victory by reconnecting with his son and his family and, and bringing their team to the championship game. And losing, which is like another cool aspect of it. You know, he brought him all the way there and then lost it. And, you know, so there's a element of humility in there for him. And uh, no, it's, it was, it's an amazing story. And I just saw, i honestly really happy to be part of it. Mm -hmm. And so we like the Bad News Bears. They lost the championship. That's right. They went on That's right. Rocky. Yes. 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 Yeah. And Taylor, here you are. You're the coach. And, you know, you got your whole team. The next thing you know, this guy shows up after winning a Super Bowl and wants to help, it's kind of like, okay, <laughs> I can kind of see the writings on the wall for my character. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, coach Troy welcomes, welcomes the help on the football field um, because we're, we're struggling, but um, the biggest thing for Troy is to make sure that Connor's getting his dad back um, because he, he, he knows Connor um, and he knows what he's been missing. And that's, that's not a, another coach. That's his father. Okay, I mean, you know, frankly, I'm a huge football fan, but this this is not doing anything for me. How many reels? I, I, that's why I gave it kind of like a three and a half. It's one of those where, like this weekend, since it's cold, and since it's on Netflix, as you and I always joke about, it's free. Mm -hmm. You know, you get to check, you know, check it out. But yeah, it's not going to be probably one of the ones you're going to be going. Okay, I gotta, you know, really get in there. I mean, like one of the funniest parts really is Rob Schneider with his man bun, uh, walking around. So. You know, you'd get a kick out of seeing oh, that. That guy will always have work if Kevin James and the Adam, Adam Sandler continue making movies. Yep, the whole gang's all in there, yep. All right, <laughs> next up, another new movie, this one coming to Disney+, Plus, and it's a spinoff on the Ice Age series. Yeah, yeah, and I, I unfortunately, I have to look down because the title is so long, but it is called The Ice Age Adventure of Buck Wild. And what it deals with are the two Possum brothers who they just want to escape their sister. So they go out to find their own way in the world. They wind up in this underworld civilization that's about to be taken over by dinosaurs. So it's their job now to stop it. I do believe we have a clip, so here we go. Ugh, she's smothering us with reasonable advice. What if we move out and get our own place? Ooh, you mean a bachelor den? Nah, I was thinking more of a place where two single guys hang out. Oh, that's way better. Just imagine it. I'm a bad boy doing good things. Got a lemonade with chicken wings. I'm on a cut loose cause I can't see. So I might just pop myself a chain tonight. We start, now we can't stop. I'm a cold guy on a mountain top. Yeah, yeah, young Bill making his try. So I might just sneak away just for one night. Look at Boys! Don't make me come get you. <laughs> That trailer or that little bit from the trailer is funnier than anything Kevin James has ever done. How many reels for the Ice Age Adventures of Buck Wild? <laughs> it's definitely a kid's four. I mean, the kids loved it. They had a good time with it. And, you know, it, it just keeps them entertained. And also, it's 81 minutes long. Well, Who can argue? Bonus. <laughs> Finally, there's a new series out on Apple TV Plus starring Tiffany Haddish. It's called The After Party. Yeah, it's all about this group of people. They get together for, uh, I believe it's like their 20th 
a high school reunion. And they've all got, you know, their own different lives and things going on. And where Dave Franco plays this guy who all of a sudden became a superstar, well, he winds up getting killed at the party. And the thing is, it's kind of like a whodunit. So each episode deals with certain class members, you know, talking about how they didn't do it and who they think did it. Well, I got to talk to Ben Schwartz and, of course, U of D Jesuit High School fellow graduate, the one and only Sam Richardson about it. And the main thing we talked about was being back in high school and also high school reunions. And here's something special for all you Cubs out there. Like, Sam, imagine you go back to your reunion now. Of course, everybody's going to be going, hey, how's it going? And they make mm -hmm. you sing U of D High fight song. Ooh, here's to UV High School. We're full of fight. Here's to our colors of maroon and white. Here's to the fellows. Loyal they'll be singing the battle song of you. D. Oh, wow. Wow. Yes, you UV. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yep. Yes, I'm, a, sir. I'm a cub. My son was a cub. I think he was there when you were there. But Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. So, I was going to say, you just seen the way your character was. I'm thinking, that had to be you almost in high school. Kind of, kind of, but not exactly. I, I you know, I, I was I, in high school. I, I really wasn't a tortured nerd. You know, I was, uh, I was this pretty chill guy. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Oh, that's so interesting. I've only been, I only got to go to one reunion and it was the five year, but I wonder if, uh, so I haven't been able to test it, but I wonder if we all came back, if everybody would still be in their version of what the clicks were like the cool, gorgeous jock, or I wonder if years have weathered all those all those good looks. <laughs> and when we get there, it's just we're all just normal people with a lot of different problems that we're dealing with. Um, I'd be really interested. I really there's a lot of people in my high school that I really enjoyed being around. So it'd be interesting. Wow. What did you think about this? It's a fun adventure and something that Apple TV Plus did. It's a seven episode series. They only sent us six episodes. So I've still got to wait to see who done it. So I'm looking forward to checking out that very last episode. But yeah, it, it's it's a lot of fun, a lot of comedy, of course. And like you said, Tiffany Haddish plays the lead police officer who's investigating the crime. Uh, I am so happy that at, at my 10 year reunion of which I was the master of ceremonies because I'm on TV and so they're like, you have to do it. I said, fine. I'm so happy yeah. there were no smartphones back then because there may or may not have been an incident where I was down to my underwear in a convertible <laughs> standing up <laughs> while <laughs> driving down the road. There's no truth to that because it didn't. No, what do they say? It picks or it didn't happen? Anyway, right. where can people see more of your interviews, Greg? Uh, just go to movieshowplus.com. Uh, there you can see all the interviews from, uh, as an example, like the after party. And also, you know, sign up for uh, being um, part of our page. And you are also then include it in giveaways. So we've got a lot of giveaways that we're doing, including movie tickets and also other fun movie prizes. So don't forget, go to movieshowplus.com. All right, Greg, one final quick challenge. All Your backdrop there behind you? Yeah. All new the next time we see you. All new. I'm laying down the what gauntlet. All We've new got decor. One right here with a new one of Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next time, Greg. Good to see you.